Well, this has become the never-ending summer of fixing up bad contractor work. Got the upstairs windows done, and now I gotta do the basement windows. And as you can see, there is no wood there. This is the worst one. There used to be wood there. You can see it here. But, uh, not very good. Now, the rod extends, but it's still pretty solid there, for the most part. So, I'm going to try an experiment here, see what happens. Well, first of all, we've got to clean all this up. frame taken out. I wasn't planning on taking the sides and the top out, but they came out easy. So we got some void here, a little bit of soft punkiness, same down at the other corner, a little bit along the bottom. So the next step is I'm going to make a whole new frame for this. Uh, the window, it's it's solid all the way down except for the bottom one and it's solid most of the way except for a few minor exceptions so on with the experiment got some reclaimed pressure treated here I'm going to use
just because it's never okay for concrete and wood to touch each other. Put some flashing tape on it. Okay, we've got a test fit done. Now I'm going to uh, apply a foreign concept from my window installer. And that's caulking. And uh, looks like it was a foreign concept on the in original installation, too. and thick. So with that all siliconed in, I got those rotted out cavities. And this is where the experimental part comes in. We're going to see if we can use those cavities as a mold. Okay, let's try this out. Two part epoxy and the brand is uh, that one there. It's called the least expensive I could buy. So resin and hardener. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh that's a pain in the butt. Okay, resin and hardener in equal amounts. And this is supposed to take 24 hours for a soft cure. Whatever that means. It means I won't know if I'm successful until tomorrow. 
So I'm not going to use a whole pile of it. Seeing as it's an experiment right now. And hardware. Equal amount. and stir forever. And it's casting epoxy. It says you can put little bits and pieces and stuff in it. And I'm thinking it's a little bit thin. So a bit of sawdust. Just to thicken it up a little bit. from the vacuum cleaner. I think I'm going to divide this between the two if it doesn't fill it. Just because... Just because. Seems to make sense that if it's going to leak out anywhere, it's going to be in the first four. I can easily make that much again. It looks like something the dog might eat before, but uh, we'll see how it works. Maybe put a bit more in tomorrow. So that's it all complete. I did a second pour and some caulking and some painting. And it seals up pretty nice. So the thing I did learn is I got to be a little bit more careful about my pouring because I got a little bit in the corners there that showed up a bit. But other than that, it's solid and stable. It's weatherproof. And uh, it looks okay. So I've got a bunch more to do. Well, that was the worst one. But I think I can batch out the rest of them. Well, some of them I don't have to take out everything. Like that one there, just needs a little bit of fill and we'll be okay. A lick of paint on it. Some are softer than others, but like I said, I think I can batch them out now. This next one here, I'll have to take the whole thing out because it's edge of it's rotted. But the next one after is looking still pretty solid. So yeah. On the uh, road to solving problems. Now, eventually, of course, I'm going to have to do some landscaping here. You see how it slopes toward the house. But uh, before I do landscaping, uh, there's some things in my way, and uh, they got to get removed. Ooh, 
look at that. Sun stars. Yeah, so we got a bunch of work to do in here before we can get the landscaping done and get it sloped. And I eventually want to slope it around and kind of head it off that way. Which at some point it certainly does that. Even if it sits in here a little bit, it'll be fine. So oh, that's another window done. And it stands out like a sore thumb because it looks better than the rest of them. Well, like I said, we'll batch out the rest of them and get working on that. And that'll be what I'll be doing for the next few weeks. Had a delay due to weather. Can't help that. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.